Hi again. Okay, so you've written your haiku, and now I would like to teach you how to improve it to make it really tight and strong and make it a prize winner. All right, so if you remember, we talked about making your poem packed with imagery, sights, sounds, feels, if you can do smells and tastes. Okay, uh, what I'm going to show you right now is an example I got from a student a while ago. I, I'm sorry, I don't remember who wrote this haiku. Let me read it to you. The little school child standing beside the blue pond crying for her bag. Okay, great. So what's good about this is that she's got imagery, right? She's got a picture of a school child and she's got her second image, the blue pond. The kid is standing by the pond and the kid is crying. That's a very clear image. I, it's possible we've got some sound here, which is good. We've got the color of the blue pond. So this is a good start. This is definitely a good start. Okay, so what I would normally tell my students though is I want you to tighten it up tighten up your poem. Okay, so this is what tighten up your poem means. All right. So tighten up your poem means trim any unnecessary words and be more precise when you can. Okay, so let's look specifically at this person's poem. I'm going to use red. Okay. The little school child. The, uh, we're kind of counting syllables for a second. The little school child. Oh, whoa, whoa. The little school child. 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 Let's go child. She has five. Let's call it five. Okay. You can get rid of the word the. Little school child. I mean, we don't have to have the the in there. And that gives us a whole nother syllable. Plus little is the same as small. And little is two syllables. And small is one. So let's shrink it, right? If you can shrink it, that's tightening it up. You're making it, you're giving yourself, now I'm down to small, small, small school child. That's three syllables. I have two additional syllables. There's a lot I could do with two syllables. As you see, look how much I've done with three, right? So I've, I, I'm going to have plus two syllables on here that I get to add later if I want. Okay. Um, by be more precise, I'm looking at the word child. I mean, I don't even know if it's a girl or a boy until down here, I see it's her bag. Oh, it's a girl. Uh, but why not say girl? I want to help my reader put this picture in his or her mind. So let me hear that it's a girl right away. Get rid of child, be more precise. Okay, small school girl plus two syllables to pick, um, round out a picture of her, right? Um, okay, and it, it won't be a word like lonely because lonely tells. I don't want to tell here. I just want to show and let the reader get the picture. Okay, small school girl. And I like school girl because I get an image of a school uniform. A school girl has a school uniform and these like sort of, I don't know. It gives me an image of a girl in a school uniform. I like that. Uh, standing beside the blue pond. Okay, first of all, we've got standing, and later we've got crying. Those are two syllables, and it would be better to say standing and cry. I mean, stands and cries. Actually, that's be I E S. But basically, what I'm saying is you're tightening up your amount of syllables, and you're also making a tighter sentence. The, the girl stands beside the pond and cries for her bag rather than standing and crying. What does she do? She's standing and crying, and what? It feels incomplete. So stands is better. Um, but be more precise, right? I've marked the ones in green that could be more precise. Stands. I mean, that's a fairly generic image, a girl standing. Could we do better? You know, we've gotten rid of a syllable here, so we can have two syllables for how she stands. Hunches, slouches, um, curls up. Curls up is, you know, two syllables. Um, what is she doing? Give us a, pick a word. Uh, let's just say slouches. Oh, slouches. But I'm just trying to show you for argument's sake how you can um, tighten and be more precise. How do you spell slouches? S-L-O-U-C-H-E-S. -E okay. She, I'm trying to write with my cursor. It's a little bit hard. Uh, slouches beside the blue pond. Okay. Blue. Be more precise. Um, blue. What can we do with blue? Well, uh, we can get rid of the for trim, right? We don't have to have the the slouches beside blue pond. We can we don't we, we can live without the the. That gives us two syllables. So we can either go more specific on blue, like aqua or something like that, or 
Um, I have an even better idea. Instead of just doing color, which is okay, color's good because that's a visual, we could do something like windswept. Windswept. That's two syllables. Aqua. Wind swept. Holy mackerel. That's a lot in two. Uh, wait, I was doing swept. You could do a lot. That's a lot in two syllables. Wind swept. Right? So that, I like that. Wind swept. Beside wind swept pond. Now we're getting the feel in there as well as further imagery of the pond. Okay. So now we have small school girl plus two slouches beside windswept pond, forget aqua, cries for her bag. Okay, bag, be more precise, bag. Uh, we got rid of a syllable here, so we have two syllables to describe her bag. Is it a new bag? Is it a school bag? Is it a purse? Her, maybe her new purse got stolen. Cries for her new purse. Um, you could put a color in there if you want. Uh, so in other words, instead of bag, let's um, let's consider that an option for take that word out and add two more you know two syllables. Like it could be new bag or it could be new purse. So that's what we mean when we say trim it and be more precise. You're tightening up your poem. Oops, sorry. You're tightening up your poem. You're changing words to make them more precise. Um, like slouches is a better word for stands. Um, bag, you're getting more specific. Blue, you're getting more specific. So be more precise and then trim out the unnecessary words like the thes and unnecessary syllables like ing. You don't need the ing. Okay, so give it a try. Let's see your really tight haiku tomorrow when you come to class or whenever your teacher assigns it. All right, you can do it. Good luck.